Nature is asymmetric. The Milky Way is a helix-shaped galaxy that swirls around in one direction. Leo Messi is left-footed, Serena Williams is right-handed, and we as humans have our heart in the left side of our body. As a matter of fact, we are made out of proteins whose main building blocks are amino acids, a set of asymmetric organic molecules. This phenomenon is called chirality, after the Greek word hair, hand. Notice that even though both of your hands are identical, you can superimpose them. One hand is the mirror image of the other one. Some molecules, just as the before mentioned amino acids, work in the same fashion. For each one of these non-symmetric molecules, there are always two twins, or as we chemists call them, two enantiomers. These can behave differently upon entering your body, where one can heal, the other one can kill. This is best illustrated by thalidomide, a sedative used in the 1950s by pregnant women who suffered from nausea and discomfort. Originally, thalidomide was sold as a racemic mixture, a mixture of both enantiomers. It was observed that women who took this drug often had children with several medical problems. Thus, some scientists studied these cases and concluded that, well, yes, indeed, one of the enantiomers had the desired medical properties, the other one harmed the embryo. This showcases the need of new methods to synthesize molecules controlling their chirality. My work revolves around the development of novel reactions that allow us to achieve one of the two enantiomers at will. Later on, these methods will be used to generate new drugs. However, that is not everything. As you are aware, climate change is a huge issue. Every day that goes by, the world has less resources and huge amounts of waste are generated, worsening the lives of many. That's why in my research, I focus on the use of a very tiny amount of a supermolecule to induct the chirality upon two other molecules, a catalyst. This catalyst job is to facilitate the reaction between two different compounds while transferring its own asymmetry. In my work, I usually use metal-based catalysts, in this case, nickel. Nickel is a relatively non-toxic, abundant, and non-expensive metal. Nonetheless, one of the goals of my thesis is to replace this so-called metal-based catalyst for even greener options, just as organocatalysts. By fusing both the concept of asymmetric synthesis with catalysis, we get asymmetric catalysis, which is my field of study. More research needs to be carried on. However, only by thinker in thinking in greener solutions will we be able to save the planet. Thanks for your attention.